Hi, Greg Barone here with United Home Audio. And next I want to talk about the outboard power supply, the power in the guts of the Super Deck system. This unit is the same billet aluminum box as the outboard head amp employs, thick aluminum. In addition to that, the entire inside is covered with rich life. Rich light material is a very inert material, a uh, very thick material, and all of the boards, the toroidal power transformers, everything, everything's bolted to, to the rich life right through the aluminum billet aluminum chassis. So not only do you have the dampening characteristics of a heavy aluminum chassis, but you also have the rich light inside that's also providing additional dampening. In here you have three toroidal power transformer. One runs the tape transport, one runs the outboard head amp, and the right and left channel of the outboard head amp actually. So you have complete separation of church and state. One umbilical going up to the uh, tape transport, running that. One umbilical running the right channel and the left channel inside the outboard head amp. In addition to that, you also have um, AC to DC conversion devices in here that are quite robust, and a number of them that supply direct voltage to either one two or three of the different motors and also the tape logic system. And as I mentioned before, when I was talking about the tape transport, there is no power delivery in here whatsoever. There are simply wires coming from the power delivery that's isolated away from, completely away from the tape path, period. So that's a, it's a much better way of doing it. And each of these devices actually has a corresponding uh, power supply inside the head amp. Every single gain stage and every EQ stage on the right channel and the left channel has its own power delivery system and voltage regulation and power filtering caps associated with each of the gain stages. So. They are not looking for power. They have immediate, instant, considerable power delivery at any point that whatever the music calls for. Whether it's a huge orchestral crescendo or it's uh, the bass on uh, Wish You Were Here, um, it will have the power it needs to get the job done. In addition to that, we do something in the outboard power supply that I don't believe I don't believe anybody out there uh, really does. Maybe there are some I don't know, but we take power from the wall, whether it's the unit will run on 100 uh, volts all the way up to 260 volts, 240 volts, and um, what we do in here is we step the power down three different times. So we're looking for a voltage to run the head amp, the, the uh, gain stages, etc., etc. And we step that voltage down in three different increments so that each time we separate ourselves from the wall outlet, from the mains outlet, the electrical outlet. So by the time it's, filled, it's gone through three different voltages in a step-down process, it's pretty clean, pretty clean at that point. There's also an EMI filter in here, RF and EMI filter, that uh, we use right straight off of the input, uh, the voltage input. In addition to that, we also have a uh, not just a on, on on and off switch maybe a hundred hundred two hundred volt switch we have a six hundred volt switch uh, made of copper so all voltage has to go through your switch and best to have a super high-end switch which is what we did the switch is very expensive but it was 
considered to be the best switch for the for the job and the one thing that I've done in the super deck design and the build is make a cost no object uh, deck I don't care what anything costs I don't care if it's super expensive as long as it's the best product for the job the best piece for the for the job and that's the way we've run this entire project we don't care about what some costs we just care is it the best is it the best that we can do and the outboard power supply is really the heart of all of this because it is in addition to being a very complex and very uh, mission specific piece of the system but in addition to that it's also heavy it's inert it's bulletproof for example uh, we had an electrical storm a couple of days ago and uh, the power uh, went out then it came back and bounced two or three or four or five six times and then went out again came back bounced a few and finally came came back for good but during that entire process the bouncing the surging the whole bit was impacting this system obviously and no problem no problem whatsoever um, I leave the super deck and all of the UHA decks on 24 7 I never turn them off the power comes the power goes it doesn't seem to affect them in any way shape or form and that's the way I like it bulletproof operation UHA reliability which has been proven over many years here you're not buying a 40 or a 60 year old tape deck which is kind of like buying a 57 Chevy and expecting to go out and run Formula One racing with it. Uh, not going to work. Here, everything is newly designed. Everything is rebuilt to, as new standards. It comes with a full two years parts and labor warranty 